Hello, my friends. Welcome back to MTD CNC. I am standing in front of a beautiful tin pallet chain from Kitamura, and I'm with my buddy Kyle from Brennan Machine. It's a really unique story in the sense that the machine behind us was actually purchased a little while ago. And it's not every day that the machine tool companies have the capability to adapt a pallet change system later that completely communicates with the original system, which is a bonus. So with that being said, Kyle, we know Kitamura for its quality, its value, its long life, because you have second generation kids coming in here, all of that. But I want to jump into the deep end of the pool first and go, You've added a pallet change. What enticed you to do that? Packard Machine is your partner company here. What enticed you to go, you know what, we have a machine, but we really need to add a pallet change system to it. Uh, we wanted to up production, and we really don't have enough room in the shop to bring in brand new machinery, so this was our best option. We can uh, run this 24-7, runs all night long. We double the production on the parts we're making, and come in in the morning, just load it back up and let it go for the rest of the day. And it works out beautiful. I love that answer. And I want to reiterate for the audience. Did you hear what my friend Kyle just said? Doubled production, runs 24-7. This is the purpose of pallet change systems, right? Exactly. Now, when we're looking at this system, it looks like there's 10 of them here, right? Yep, 10 pallets. This allows for the machine to run while you're setting up the next job if you need to. Is that kind of what, how you're utilizing it as well? Exactly. During the day, it runs all day. Uh, you never have to stop it because you're setting up on the uh, pallet, setting up on the uh, the pallet side and not the machine side. So all the parts going on the pallet side, you don't have to shut it down. You don't have to do anything. You just keep it running all day long. Now let's talk about the machine itself existed beforehand, and this came in later. Now. Was the assembly pretty easy to add on, and did it communicate with each other right away? Were you able to really just get moving once it hit the floor? Yeah, it, it happened right away. They came in. It was like three or four days later. We were up and running, and it runs beautiful, and same as uh, same as if it came with it. So we got the machine first, then decided to put the pallet on because we were getting so busy, and it works out beautiful. You know, Kyle, I have you on camera, so I'm going to take this opportunity, although we're standing in front of this newly adapted Kitamura machine, I'm going to take this opportunity to talk with you about why horizontal machining, as well as looking straight across from here on a brand new pallet chain system as well, and the ability to run three different jobs at the same time. A lot of times when we think about automation, we don't always think about the high mix, low volume type stuff, and the ability to run three different jobs, right? So first, I want to take the opportunity to talk in general, horizontal machining. What do you like about it? Where do you see the benefits for an audience out there who's either turning or milling right now? Where do you see the value in horizontal machining? Well, horizontal machining is you, the part goes on and the part comes off finished. You don't have to set up another machine for secondary work. Like on this, this part here in particular, if we were to run it on a vertical machine, you'd probably have to run it on two or three vertical machines in order to get the same part out. This, you put the parts in, it's a blank. Come in in the morning and they're finished. You take them out to burn them. You put more parts in, just keep going. That is the perfect answer and exactly what I wanted to hear. And I'm happy you conveyed that for the audience as well because here at Brennan, Brennan Machine, and many machine shops around the country and around the world, we're all fighting for real estate space. So if we have a machine that can do more in a smaller space, as you mentioned, three or four, two or three vertical machining centers, isn't that a blessing? Yeah, it works out real well. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Now, in addition to that, we probably already know, but let's just say it out loud anyway, the coolant being able to flush the chips, the chips flushing down, you don't have to worry about them building up, oftentimes adds to the longer tool life, it adds to better, adds to better finishes. You know, there's a lot that goes on with the horizontal machining as well. But now I'm going to fast forward to the ability to do high mix, low volume, as we just previously discussed. Sure. What kind of benefits has that brought for Britain Machine as well? Well, that works out great also. This, this machine over here has the, uh, it's a little bigger than the uh, 250s, so we can put a bigger, bigger pot on there. That's why we bought the brand new one here. We got a different size, different size pot. And it, it works out great. We got two or three pots running all night long. If you don't have the volume for just running one pot, you put two or three different jobs on there, and it just keeps going all night long. And you come in with the same thing with this one. You come in in the morning, and they're all set and ready to go. Concept repeated, just a bigger work envelope. Right. Yeah. And you could do the same thing on the smaller one if you wanted to, but just that we have 
we have to make so many of this one part, we have to leave it set up for this. But you could do two or three different jobs on this one, too. And, okay, now that we're having fun with talking about we could do it here as well, but we have so many to do, you invested in this because you weren't able to keep up with production before it was invested in, right? Now exactly. you're doubling that output. Right, exactly. We're doubling the output, and we're actually capable. We're, we're working uh, four 10-hour days, and we don't have to work on Fridays unless we get a, some overtime. So it's, you guys love the four-day four work week. It works out good. And, since we got these all these new machines, it's taking the problem away. Kyle, I absolutely enjoy these kind of stories. The audience watching right now, I mean, think about it. Getting twice the production out and getting Friday off, kind of is a win-win to me. It is. Now, there's a little bit more to this story, and I'm going to bring in your colleague, Andy, and we're going to talk about the investment in the next generation, the relationship with Packer Tool, and just why something like Kid Amura here. So thank okay. you so much, Kyle. Thank you. you did an amazing job. Thank you. Andy, thank you so much for joining us. Kyle did an amazing job talking about the technology and the whys of the manufacturing right. side of things. Now I want to talk to you about the importance of investing in a quality machine like Kitamura, because if I'm not mistaken, you're talking next generation. They're now talking right. about their generation. Exactly. And machines like Kitamura last for decades and decades, so you really have invested in the future of your company. Exactly. Right. Um, like I said, back in 2013, we bought our first Kitamura, and um, it, it just took off from there. Um, almost, almost every year for the last seven, eight years, we bought a Kitamura, and then the last year and a half, this is when we started putting the add-ons here. A little bit of automation allowing exactly. you to do more with the exactly. space that you have. And with the uh, you know problems with getting new employees and stuff, we have a lot of people retiring right now. We need the automation for that. Plus, we could never keep up with the uh, you know with all the jobs that we had. So this has just made things so much easier for everybody. Some people would say that's a good problem to have, it is, is to, it's is a to a have the jobs. To have. So that's what you know about the quality of Brennan machine for sure. Not right. only is the jobs were piling up, so they needed to invest in automation, but they've been working with Kitamura and investing in their future for you because this is one of the nicest and largest CMM rooms I've ever seen with a company this size. So that's impressive. Now, if it's okay with you, we've talked a little bit about the future and the next generation, right. next generation. You've been bought seven of these machines in the last decade. Right. So let's segue into your relationship with Packard. I believe even your right. father had a relationship with Packard decades and decades ago. Would you mind sharing that story? Yeah, he did. You know, when I was in high school, he bought a nine inch South Bend lathe, okay? And he taught me how to deburr stuff when I was in high school. Then we bought two more 10 inch South Bend lathes the first year I was married. And it took off from there. Um, and here we are, 40 years later, with, what, maybe 14 machines from Packard Machine over the years. It's been, yeah, it's been an incredible relation, and it's been great. Absolutely perfect. Andy, you, sir, have done my job already. You've done your job. Right. If you wouldn't mind shaking my hand, All right. I do appreciate you. Okay. For everyone watching, this is why an investment in Kitamura. This is the ease of how it can be to adapt automation into a shop, as Andy conveyed, as Kyle conveyed. This is why automation works. This is why it works for them. Take your weekends off. Do more with the same space. It really just makes it has, sense. It has made an incredible difference. An Unbelievable. In incredible difference. One last question. If somebody out there is going, wow, one of the best CMM rooms, Kid Amira machines, the investment, you got the kids coming in. That's right. I want to work with you as well, and I want to know more because quality obviously matters to you. Andy, what is the website so people can learn more about Brennan Machine? It's www.brennanmachine.com. Folks, it is that easy. Reach out to these guys. Incredible company. The sons and daughters are coming in to make sure your future is taken care of as well as, as, well as Brennan Machine's future as well. Again, BrennanMachine.com have really invested in their quality, which then invests in your quality. Thank you all for watching, and we will see you again soon. All right, thanks.